talk about getting some basic information out of Clio Duo. Let's say I've been on vacation for a while and I'm back in the office and I want to figure out what's going on with a few different cases. So in Clio Duo, when we open it up, we're on our personal dashboard and this remains the same. For those of you with Clio Duo, we have a button up here at the top to the right of our universal search bar. I hit that and I get what looks like a traditional AI prompt area. So I could ask it to create a document for me or catch me up on a matter. And maybe that's what I want to do. And I want to know, say, what's going on with the uh, Adams matter? Just hit return. It's going to think for a while. And it's returned two separate matters. You'll see we have the first one listed is an open matter. That's probably the one I care about but it also provided a closed matter as well. And we have links right here. So I see this one is open. I could go ahead and click on it. And if I click on it, Clio takes me straight to that matter. Let's ask a little bit more of a complex question. Maybe I've been gone for, uh, let's say a month, or maybe I was on sabbatical for a while. And so I come back in and I need some additional help with Duo. Maybe I want to know what is my entire outstanding case list. So I might ask it to go ahead and tell me what matters are open where I am the responsible attorney. And you'll see there, it's going to list out several different matters. I have 14 uh, open matters right now. If I wanted to, I could go view them all. Maybe since perhaps it's coming at towards the end of the year and I wanna make sure that I hit my billable requirement or that I wanna make sure I am current with billing my clients. Maybe the matter I care about most is the one with the highest unbilled dollar amount. Let's go ahead and see which one Clio finds for that. And so Duo has sifted through my 14 open matters where I am the responsible attorney. And it has told me that the Johnson matter, which is um, there with a balance of $1,750 outstanding is the one with the highest unbilled amount. Fortunately, as you see, they have over $5,000 in trust. So we'll be able to collect that amount for sure. As I'm going through getting caught up on the work of the firm while I was out, maybe I just want to know not just how many open cases there are where I am the responsible attorney, but maybe I'd like to know how many matters do we have open overall? And it says that we have 63 open matters overall. If I want it to actually show me those matters, it's asking me, should I do that? Meaning, should Duo do that? Let's go ahead and say yes. And you'll watch it go through and it'll start returning an entire list of matters. Fortunately for the trigger happy among us, it starts by listing the first five rather than just spitting out all of the uh, matters. And if we want to, we could go see the list of additional matters. Maybe I was at a conference or I met a friend as I was walking down the street and I wanna find out if we have any open matters with the name of a person in town that he mentioned. So we're gonna see if we have any open matters where David Bowie is the client. And this is our demo Clio system. Uh, so David Bowie is actually listed as a contact. It says we have no matters where David Bowie is the client. Well, that would tell us at least that we're not waiting on a bill paid from him. Do we have any matters where David Bowie might be involved in the case? And it says there are no open matters where David Bowie is involved. I want to end on this note because we do always want to keep in mind when we use these LLMs and these uh, generative AI models, that they're not perfect. 
And in some cases, if you've been with computers for a long time, you know they do literally what you ask them to do. So let's put in a slightly different question where we're not asking, do we have any matters open where David Bowie is involved, but we're using a phrase that Clio and Clio Duo recognize. Do we have any matters where David Bowie is a related contact? Means he wouldn't be the client, but he would be a witness or an attorney or something like that on the matter. And look, there is one. There is a matter where in plain English, David Bowie is involved, but we had to ask the specific question of looking for a related contact. And it comes back with the Johnson matter and David Bowie is the attorney on that matter. Now let's use Clio Duo to learn some information about our clients and an individual matter or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask Clio Duo whether we have any open matters with a particular contact. Duo finds that we have two open matters for Mark Duncan. One of them is a disability matter, the other an estate planning matter. Maybe I'm trying to recall just exactly where we are with the disability matter. So maybe I'll ask Duo if I've emailed him about his disability case. And it shows that I have emailed him about the disability case. In fact, I emailed him very recently and it gave me a summary of the details of the email. Maybe I wanna go ahead and give him a call. I don't have his number handy, so I'm gonna ask Duo to pull it up. And there we go. So I could immediately pick up the phone and give Mark a call see if he has any questions about the email that I sent earlier. While I'm in the process of making phone calls, maybe I realize I've got to give somebody else a call, so I look up that number. And I could either, in this case, call or email uh, David to communicate whatever facts I need to tell him. While I'm catching up on cases, I'm wondering if we have an open case with a particular client different client than Mark. And indeed, we have an open case with Bugs Bunny. Let's see, have I emailed Bugs at all yet? Let me go ahead and just ask Duo what the last communication on that matter was. Ah, excellent. So I have sent him instructions on how to get to Albuquerque that way. He knows how he's going. Why is he coming to Albuquerque? Well, maybe we have some deadlines upcoming and let's check and see if there are any of those. And apparently we do indeed very soon. We're going to have a discovery status conference. I'm wondering if I saved any specifics about what I need to know for that conference. And in this case, I have it just provide us a description of the nature of a status conference. It's reading it from the description of the calendar invite. So you could put in there any facts that you would want to recall this quickly. So we've gotten some good updates, got some contact information, and we're ready to proceed more informed on our matters. Next up with Clio Duo, let's talk documents. Say we want to get up to speed on what's happened document wise in a matter that we're working on. We represent Bugs Bunny in a dispute with Elmer Fudd, and naturally, it involves a vegetable garden. So let's go ahead and click over into Duo, and we want to ask it a question. We want to find out document-wise, what's gone on in this case? Has anything been recently uploaded? It's going to search the system. And you'll see it found three recent documents uploaded. We have a motion to suppress, we have a deposition, and we have some directions that I sent Bugs on how to get somewhere he was trying to go. Let's take a look at that motion to suppress. We click right into it. You see we've got the whole document on the right-hand side. We could scroll through it, take a look. We could also hit this summary tab and Clio Duo generates a summary of our document. And you'll see there we've got case information. We've got the different grounds for suppression. And we could just give this a quick once over and see how things stand. Let's go back to Duo and we'll take a look at that deposition as well. 
Same thing, we've got the deposition here. It goes through, it's a Q&A, Bugs is being deposed by Elmer Fudd's lawyer. We bop over to that summary tab generated by Duo and you see we've got the case information, the parties involved, the various accusations, and even some clarification on some of Bugs' responses. If I've been out for a while, maybe I don't need to know just about what's going on with Bugs' in this case. Maybe I wanna know if any documents have been added to the system recently. So let's go ahead and ask it about my cases and what documents have been added there since the weekend. This is a pretty powerful search because I didn't tell it who I am. It knows because I logged into Clio, but it had to know who I was, what my cases were, and what I meant by the weekend. We've already looked at a couple of these documents, the deposition and the motion to suppress. We also see there's a market analysis on the Johnson matter and a uh, records request on the Liberty Mutual matter. Let's go ahead and click on the market analysis document. And again, we hit this display where we can take a look at the document. We could scroll through it. If we've got our launcher installed on our machine, we could open it in Microsoft Word and edit it. And let's just hit the summary tab and you'll see it generated an entire summary of this market analysis that we have to do in the Johnson case. Lots of power in Duo to make your documents more accessible and to find them pretty quickly. Next up, let's use several of Clio Duo's features together to get us up to speed on a case and figure out what's going on, generally speaking. So suppose we were on vacation or we were out for a while and we just want to know what's going on with Bugs Bunny's matter. So we'll just ask Clio Duo to tell us. And you see, we've got several great pieces of information that Duo returned. We know about the practice area. We know about how much money is in trust or how much work in progress we have, or if Bugs has an outstanding bill. We also know the last document uploaded and the most recent event to occur on the matter's timeline. Let's say we wanna do the same thing on a litigation matter with Johnson & Johnson. Sometimes we need to provide it a little bit more details. Let's say that we tell it that uh, the opposing party is suave. Took a little bit extra that time, but it pulled up this matter. Tells us it's in litigation, whether we have any work in progress. We have an outstanding balance on this case, so we might wanna get after Johnson & Johnson, but fortunately they've got some money in trust, so we could just transfer it over once we've earned it. And it tells us the uh, last document to be uploaded was an injury report. Let's ask Duo, can you summarize the injury report? So it tells us who it was created by, but it does provide a link to the document. Let's go ahead and click on that. It'll take us straight to that injury report. And while Duo in the chat box couldn't summarize it, we can at least hit the summary box and get a summary of what happened to the worker in this document. Let's say we had forgotten when we were talking to Duo earlier that we did want to know about whether we got a particular document in on the Bugs Bunny matter. I'm going to pop over to Duo again. Let's see, did we get Bugs' deposition back yet? Ah, we got it back. In fact, it came back just earlier today as we record. Uh, can you summarize the deposition? And again, it can't summarize it directly, but it does tell us exactly where to go. And once we land there, we know we've got that summary window where Duo in this instance will generate a summary of that document. And lastly, of course, as we're figuring out what we have time to do this week, we wanna know pretty darn quickly 
Maybe we don't have any our schedule handy. We'll just ask Duo. Do I have any court appearances this week? And Duo says, I don't have any court appearances. Do I have any client meetings? And it looks like I have one client meeting with Jeff Krause. And it says it could provide some more details. Let's find out what those are. Let's say, is this a web meeting? Ah, so at least we know it's a web meeting. That helps me know what I have to wear in order to be prepared to meet my client. <laughs>